Hi everyone, I wanted to shoot you a quick video update. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be out of town for the next couple of days. I'm going to a convention down in Atlanta. Um, it's a nerd convention, put simply. I'm going to uh, its pop culture, sci-fi, fantasy, literature, all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm going to be out of communication for a couple of days, or at least mostly out of communication since those host hotels don't seem to have very good internet access. But I've been reading over the discussion board for this week. Um, this week I asked you all to talk about your writing process a little bit. And I've actually been surprised at some of the creative ways that I've seen uh, people discussing their writing process. Not just giving us, you know, the this is what I do, this is how I do it sort of thing. Um, but, you know, one thing I found really interesting was this thread right here. Uh, Rebecca McMillan uh, basically wrote her writing process out as a story. Um, if you read it carefully, you can get really good insight into, you know, the steps that she actually goes through uh, when she's writing. And I thought that was actually pretty neat, um, as well as being a really good story to read. Um, but I wanted to go over this with you guys for just a minute, the, uh, the writing process document that I had you read. Uh, because I feel like, even though this is a really good document and it does a really good job of sort of breaking down the overall writing process, one thing I don't feel like it does a very good job of is emphasizing probably the most important part of the writing process. You know, one thing that I've seen a lot of you talking about already in the discussion board for this week is that you feel like you write better when you just sit down and write. When you don't worry about grammar, when you're not worried about sentence structure, when you're not really all that worried about who's going to be reading it. You know, is this going to be read by your instructor, me? You feel better, you feel better about your writing, um, and you feel like the words flow better when you just sit down and write. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that third part of the process, which is drafting. Um, you know, the very first, you know, one of the very first things I've had you read this term is about the writing process. And the way that I teach this class is a method called process writing. Um, process writing is, it sort of emphasizes the actual process of getting words on paper more than it does the final product. Not to say that the final product is not important because you are turning in final drafts of your paper, but it puts emphasis on getting you to actually put words to paper, um, even if those are not necessarily the best words, even if your sentences aren't great, if your grammar is not great. Um, it, basically the idea behind it is the best way to become better at writing is to write. Put simply, that's the, the whole idea behind it. The best way to make you a better writer, either of narratives or academic essays, is to get you to actually sit down and write. And through that process, learn to start taking control of your own abilities. Uh, learn to start recognizing and taking control of your own strengths and weaknesses um, when you're writing an academic essay. So let's talk a little bit about the drafting part. Uh, Step three, um, uh, the previous instructor for this course wrote this up um, and she talks a little bit about you know how much time you spend drafting. I'm going to talk a little bit about drafting um, as a, a general thing. Uh, drafting is the major part of my own writing process. Uh, when I sit down to write a first draft of something, I sit down to write that first draft with absolutely no expectations. I read an interesting article one time, um, and excuse me for the language, but uh, the essay was called Shitty First Drafts, and the basic idea behind that essay was that the first drafts that we write of anything are allowed to be crappy. They're, al they're allowed to be terrible. Um, and I find that if I sit down and allow myself to write those first drafts and allow myself to accept that they're going to be terrible, to accept that they're going to be grammatically flawed and there's probably going to be misspellings and the sentences are going to be horrible and trite. If I sit down and allow myself to do that, uh, although the product that I come up with right then is probably not the best product in the world and probably not something I would want to submit to a class or have anyone else ever read, um, even though what I have isn't something that I can do anything else with um, other than continue drafting, I've managed to get my ideas out. And that's where, that's sort of the, the stopping point that a lot of us hit. That's the wall that a lot of us hit 
when we're really starting to when we're really in the early parts of developing our writing process um, we are stopped by grammar we are stopped by our sort of hyper awareness of you know what makes up a good sentence uh, those things stop us from actually getting our ideas on paper your first paper that you're going to write this term is going to be a narrative essay let me see if I can get that pulled up on the screen real quick and there's a reason why I start all of my writing courses with a narrative essay and that is because it's often easiest to let ourselves go to let ourselves draft to let ourselves write a shitty first draft when we write something in narrative form especially when it's something like this a remembered event essay um, something from your own past so what I want you guys to try to do you know read back over this writing process document but pay close attention to the drafting part um, what I want you to do is I want you just like you were talking about in the forums just like you were saying that you you know you like to sit down and you like to just start writing that's what I want you to try with this narrative or with this remembered event essay I want you to sit down and write out your first drafts knowing that whatever comes out can be crap after you've done that after you've written that first draft after you've looked back over it and hopefully not cried don't cry uh, start thinking about how you can prove it that's the next big step you get the ideas out on paper and then you start thinking about how you can convey them better to your audience so whatever comes out first whatever kind of literary diarrhea you have on paper let it go but then start trying to form it into something better it might take a couple more drafts before you feel comfortable posting it for your peers to review you might feel comfortable posting it after you've just revised it once some of us you know are a little bit more nitpicky look back over it think about what you're trying to say think about how you're actually saying it and how you should be saying it so that your audience understands you best I've got a lot of grammar tutorials early on in the term but in all honesty I don't want you that focused on grammar I do that I put those grammar tutorials there early in the term to get you thinking about it but as you're writing I'm more interested in seeing you developing ideas seeing you developing arguments that I am seeing you using perfect grammar perfect grammar is something we look for when we do final drafts and we're not doing final drafts for a while so for now focus on getting those ideas on paper then revise those ideas so that they're readable by your peers and then you're going to take the advice that your peers give you and you're going to revise it even more into something that you feel you're willing to submit to me so I hope that makes sense and I hope I didn't ramble on too much I intended this video to be three minutes long and it's eight and a half but oh well you only have to put up with me once a week so there you go um, like I said I'm going to be out of town for the next few days if you need me email me and I'll get back to you as quick as I can otherwise have a great Labor Day weekend